The second you become aware of the specific ways everything from the best in the world and the best there is, was and ever will be, to some of the most talented women in the business and a certain scary movie are connected, you'll likely never be able to unsee it. So let's dive in, baby! Because I am Gareth, this is What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 fascinating secret wrestling connections you definitely missed. Number 10, Swerve Strickland's easily missed Bray Wyatt tribute. The entire wrestling community Community joined together to salute and pay respect to the Taken Too Soon Bray Wyatt back in August. But not every tribute came in the form of an emotional promo or message on social media. Some folks, like the always impressive Swerve Strickland, actually waited a few months to pay homage to the late great Wyatt, with the future world champion adding some fiendish flavour to his gear on the night of Full Gear 2023. Many naturally weren't quick to spot the Wyatt connection on the night, as Strickland and Hangman Page attempted to beat each other to a bloody pulp in one of the most horrific bouts of the year. But Strickland would eventually confirm via Instagram that his tights on the night were very much inspired by a star he had always loved and been influenced by. Swerve would even note on the Not Sam Wrestling podcast that while sharing a locker room with Wyatt back in WWE, he actually helped the creative performer with a fiend mask at one point, and he wasn't the only performer to secretly pay tribute with a cool Wyatt connection on screen. Number 9, Rey Mysterio's secret homage to Bray Wyatt. As already mentioned, performers all across the industry remembered the beloved Bray Wyatt in their own way in the wake of his tragic passing. And on the August 25th edition of SmackDown, a show dedicated to both the former WWE champion and the late Terry Funk, a certain masked legend opted to secretly pay homage to one of his former in-ring adversaries during a match against Grayson Waller. A few fans online did actually manage to catch the marvellous Wyatt connection felt during one specific sequence in the bout, with Rey Mysterio nailing his young rival with Bray's trademark clothesline slash senton combo. Being the absolutely world-class performer he still is, even at almost 50 years old, Ray Ray absolutely nailed the subtle move tribute, of course, but the rather moving collection of attacks was sadly overlooked by most on an emotional night full of respectful nods, promos, and other tributes to both the extraordinary Wyatt and Funk. And while on the subject of both of those legends, you let me know right now in the comment section down below what your favourite Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk moments were. Number 8, The Scary Movie 3 Moment During Bianca Belair vs Alexa Bliss The wrestling and movie businesses have been connected in a number of terrific ways over the years. Studios have unleashed various engaging, dramatic and rather entertaining biopics focused on this bizarre world, and folks taking bumps inside of the squared circle have often taken inspiration from big screen characters and even specific scenes. Take Bianca Belair's January 2nd, 2023 Raw battle with Alexa Bliss for example. Those who hadn't ever sat through the third installment in the horror parody delight that is the scary movie series, likely didn't spot the subtle nod to the flick during this Raw Women's Championship fight. But as Belair herself would explain to Cage Side Seats that same month, the champ keeping her challenger at arm's length and more, were an entirely intentional tip of the cap to Regina Hall and her character's fight with another spooky figure in the movie. After watching that hilarious clip of Brenda Meeks whooping all the ass with her wind-up punch and other comical manoeuvres, Belair thought the potential was there for a scary movie connection to be chucked into her moment with Bliss. It worked a treat and lightly acted as a fun little easter egg for fans of the silly franchise. Yes, wrestling is silly too. Number 7, Sammy Guevara's gear secretly foreshadows a turn. Before the Spanish god finally collided with his longtime mentor, Chris Jericho, Excalibur made a point of noting how Sammy Guevara had opted to wear gear similar to the outfit Y2J had worn during his WrestleMania 19 match with Shawn Michaels. Why? Because Guevara was as inspired by Jericho as Jericho was by HBK, of course. And while that specific connection was openly explained to the audience before the pair had even locked up, what many didn't spot, even after it had shockingly occurred post-match, was how that gear secretly connected Guevara to the bloke he would ultimately nail in the balls. You see, after failing to defeat Michaels at that show of shows 20 years earlier, Jericho also suddenly pulverized his inspirations nuts. Fast forward two decades, and Guevara pretty much told you before a single punch had been thrown that a similarly ex- explosive ending was on the horizon. And sure enough, after also losing and initially sharing a hug with his Grand Slam opponent, Sammy established his secret connection with Jericho via low blow. Number 6, AJ Styles wrestled in both The Undertaker and Randy Savage's last matches. How's that for a phenomenal connection, eh? Apologies for that. But you can bet that AJ Styles wouldn't have guessed he'd end up being involved in not one, but two wrestling icons' final ever matches in the business. 16 years before, warring with a dead man in a surreal bone yard fight 
at WrestleMania 36. The former WWE and TNA champion actually took part in the Macho Man's last ever contest too. Going down at TNA's 2004 Turning Point event, Styles teamed with Jeff Hardy and Randy Savage in a six-person tag contest against the all-star lineup of Jeff Jarrett, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Michael Hamflit's dream team in other words. Admittedly, Macho Man was involved in the match for all of about two minutes after being kidnapped by the Kings of Wrestling earlier in the evening. But when he did finally rock up, it wasn't long before Savage and co. had taken home the W. Savage would exit the company not long after, ultimately making this the last match of his historic career. Fast forward to April 4th, 2020, and Styles was once again working with a legend in a match nobody honestly knew would be their last ever at the time. But after Taker confirmed his retirement a few months later, that cinematic match eventually became his final one. What a strange old life, eh? Oh yeah, and cheers for watching today, and if you like what you see, then tap on that subscribe button down below. Number 5. When Adam Copeland throws on the hardcore vest, things get hat. The rated R superstar is a bloke who never misses an opportunity to add some glorious detail to his work. And if you were paying close attention to the gear Adam Copeland sported during his recent TNT Championship war with longtime pal slash rival Christian Cage, you may have been able to spot a magnificent connection that secretly foreshadowed the match's fiery conclusion. That specific vest and trouser combo Copeland donned for his World's End fight with AEW's Patriarch was actually the same one he chose for his iconic WrestleMania 22 hardcore match with Mick Foley all those years ago. Man, I wore out that DVD. No one will ever forget the horrifying visual of Mrs. Foley's baby boy being speared through a blazing table at ringside that night. And what do you know? Something rather similar went down during the last AEW pay-per-view of 2023. Instead of being knocked off the apron and through the burning wood here though, Nick Wayne would end up getting powerbombed onto the table late on. But oh no, not through it. Instead taking a pretty awkward neck first bump onto the floor. Yep, it was pretty nasty. Copeland had a few folks online fired up for a burning table spot from the second he strutted out onto the ramp, but many were too caught up in the violence to spot this fantastic detail. Number 4. If it wasn't for the bionic elbow, there'd be no people's elbow. Long before he was on the verge of potentially delaying his son's never-ending story, The Rock took inspiration from the mighty Dusty Rhodes. The People's Champion would note on Instagram in the wake of Dusty's passing in July 2015 that not only did Rhodes inspire and mentor him over the years, he also helped inspire him to create his own super entertaining elbow of destruction after a admiring the bionic elbow growing up. Now sure, Rhodes' elbow may have been delivered while standing up, whereas The Rock saw the Great One crash his down on arrival after running the ropes. But the theatrical setup and end result of the crowd losing their minds were both similarly electric. Number 3. When Reigns vs Lesnar main events mania, Royal Rumble winners tend to lose. WWE fans aren't the only ones hoping they don't have to sit through a fourth Roman Reigns vs Brock Lesnar WrestleMania main event in the coming years. Royal Rumble winners are fearing a show of shows for Will too. That's because whenever the Tribal Chief and the Beast Incarnate force their way into the show-closing slot on the grandest stage, the unfortunate soul who worked their ass off to win the 30-person over-the-top rope spectacular doesn't end up lifting the big one at Mania. First, it was Reigns himself who failed to walk away with the gold in 2015 at Mania 31 after his match with the Big Bad Brock, and later Seth Rollins. Then, both Shinsuke Nakamura and Asuka weren't able to conquer AJ Styles and Charlotte Flair, respectively, when Roman and Brock closed out WrestleMania 34. And finally, 2022 saw both Ronda Rousey and her fellow former UFC champion pick up L's at the Showcase of the Immortals, losing to the Queen and the head of the table at WrestleMania 38, as the latter match once again went on last on night two. Put simply, if these two ever decide there's still some unfinished WrestleMania business between them, pray for that year's Royal Rumble winners. Number two, Sheamus and Jeff Hardy are somehow the same age. Admittedly, it does sometimes feel like both of these popular lads have been around around for an eternity. But it does still seem a little odd to note that one-time piss-test enemies Sheamus and Jeff Hardy are actually the same age, with Hardy in particular being present on fan screens from as far back as 1994, the year I was born. You'd be forgiven for assuming the charismatic Enigma was at least a few years older than the Celtic Warrior. However, it is worth remembering that Jeff was actually just 16 years old at the time of his first WWE on-screen appearance versus Razor Ramon, meaning that he's now been active for a whopping three decades. And so have I. Sheamus, on the other hand, only debuted as a wrestler back in 2002 before finally arriving on the WWE roster in 2009. That and the fact they're still capable of a banger Irish machine hasn't thrown himself off of quite as many ladders as the now rather battered Jeff over the decades is likely the reason many wouldn't be quick to suggest the two former WWE champions are connected via their shared 
age. But you better believe it, folks. Number one, hell froze over for CM Punk and Bret Hart. It's no secret that the punker is a massive hitman stan. Hell, he even hilariously donned a Bret Hart hoodie for his recent NXT appearance opposite Bret Hart's one-time bitter rival, Shawn Michaels. But that was a far more subtle nod to the majestic legend that many understandably overlooked during CM Punk's WWE Homecoming. Back when the best in the world appeared on Monday Night Raw for the first time in nearly a decade on November 27, 2023, Punk made a point of delivering some very specific words during his first promo back. Looks like hell froze over was the statement uttered by one Bill Phil that night. And before he'd ended up on the front of his latest piece of WWE merch, that was actually something Hart told audiences during his first appearance on Raw in over 12 years back in 2010 too. As he soaked in a hot response just like the one Punk received during his long-awaited comeback, the WWE Hall of Famer noted, well, I guess hell froze over. Both legends infamously left WWE on bad terms and ultimately came back around a decade or so after the drama. A clever Punk clearly spotted the similarities and could not resist adding in a secret heart connection to his once unthinkable return. They don't call him the best in the world for nothing, my friends. Did you enjoy this fascinating secret wrestling connections you definitely missed video? Well, check out this 10 wrestling secrets everyone knows except you want to then. Bye-bye.